hi everyone today we are going to see about uh, how you can able to view about uh, google keywords uh, so imagine you have a website and uh, you want to know about uh, your visitors who visited your page using some keywords they texted in google <coughs> google search engine so let me share about that so if you see this is a google analytics in the google analytics you have to go into the acquisition tab and then there is a search console in this search console we have a thing called the queries tab here you will get a list of users <coughs> who had a who has searched the uh, queries in google and got the results uh, resulting your web page so this is my my blogs uh, my blog related users who visited a visit web page my web page, my web blog uh, using those keywords so, so if you see this is a number of clicks is a, this is a highest keyword if i put a we're gonna search with this keyword my blog name is 1987 and then if i put this one there you get it so this is how the landing page and uh, using this uh, the people can able to and one more thing if you want to know about uh, from a which city they have uh, utilized you have the visitors to see about it and i will serve it where, where they are coming from so that will be like uh, other uh, dimensions say like for example i might want to know about which days they visited the website uh, using the keywords so that will form a since let me click it These are the peculiar dates uh, user has came across these keywords and then they search uh, queries in Google search engine. So if you see these are the things are uh, provided by Google Analytics. It's uh, the visitors where they come from. So they see like these are all the initial sources all from Google. And we'll see about another thing called uh, users flow. And for example, the people who landed your web page, who landed in my web page, and then they want to explore on different uh, different places, different, uh, I mean, navigation between different uh, web pages. So here is a thing called the users flow from the users tab from this uh, audience tab so let me think about uh, let me think about like uh, here i'm having a country and then another things i can able to choose is city So number of cities, those are like a city other than that. Uh, page title will be the best one because from which page landing page In this landing page how they use this navigator so let me choose one of this thing so i'm choosing this one 
if i choose highlighter it will throw the show that uh, other parts how the interactions happen so uh, from the landing page where the people are navigated from other different pages in that website so if you see that uh, things called uh, sessions and drop off so drop off in means the people are leaving from the web page and sessions means like the people who visited this page so this particular page So if the traffic breakdown, if you see this is where it is coming from, where it is going. So the outgoing traffic will be from here. It went up to the totally 44 pages, 44 more pages. And then how many sessions, uh, sessions with that, the web, web, the tab, they, when they are opening. So it's a simply a browser window, how much time they exist for this particular web pages. It's calculating in the session. Percentage of traffic is arriving from the outgoing traffic so from this if i move into this is a page if i highlight again it will give you a different uh, path so this page has arrived in this place this is a uh, incoming traffic and then this is an outgoing traffic so this way so if you have a web page or uh, anything, if you configure it, uh, Google Analytics provide these features to do kind of a, some research and then where you can improve your uh, web page traffic ranking uh, using this Google Analytics too. So if you see this one, uh, <clears throat> So flash traffic through here. So if the if you see the, the segmentations between the two URL, which one is, is this, the first one is a web page and the second one is a mobile version. So traffic drop off rate will be like uh, if you go with this rate, the mobile users has more drop off. Mean they are existing exiting from this page from this session to the next session. So if I take a outgoing traffic. So where the people are landing for next, next things, next, next uh, web page they are landing. So where they are coming from, incoming traffic are the sources. So there will be like uh, one or three more pages they are landed and then they arrived in this particular, in this particular page. So the visitors who visited mobile users has more number of drop off rates and then the one from the web pages so if you see about so if you see about um, so outgoing traffic and then if you see like um, my articles let me go with this uh, my articles option so the option is this is a one. So if I highlight the traffic through here, so here also we can able to visit about. Uh, Again, the my articles page with the uses from mobile as a more drop off rate as like a, there is a chance that they are exiting from this page, exiting from this page. So from the outgoing traffic, again, they are landed into totally 28 plus three of uh, 31 pages to drop off. 
so from here if you land next section of the pages so it is like a page by page web page by web page scenario where the people can able to if i give a next step it will provide a next scenario so it this side the interactions are keep happening in the web pages and it keeps uh, keep coming about so like why uh, this interactions is keep happening and uh, this is how the feature so if you keep adding the steps further more further you can explore the entire thing so if i want to know about the traffic which is coming from the places i mean to say like uh, the places from a country or anything so i'm choosing continent This is from subcontinent ring. This will come southeast. This kind of a categories, Southeast Asia kind of a categories. So if you see this one, South Asia, and then North America has more number of uh, contribution towards it. So if I highlight traffic here, it will show this many traffic possibilities. And then if I clearing clear the highlighting, and it shows this many continents wide so in, in a global uh, perspective global aspects uh, how many visitors as this kind of a users flow so if you see this one um, i'm taking uh, the continent so it says uh, different other continent so these are the major things southern asia southeast asia western asia and in the eastern europe so eastern europe is a this number of traffic so highlight traffic through here and then just log out. okay if i take this one and then see about the login details so these are like a uh, top pages where the people landed from the initial from their uh, continent of <clears throat> europe so traffic breakdown will bring you from where this all are mostly coming from So likewise, so we can keep exploring user flow options. So thank you for watching.